in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create custom sign up and login in ASP.NET Core 1.0 MVC so let's get started so firstly what I am gonna do is I'm gonna create a model for login for sign up so in this model uh, I am taking some properties like ID for the indication of a row in the database table and the another attribute uh, the another property is email address and the attributes I have given for this property are required attribute along with the error message and display attribute it simply displays the property name on our view page and the data type this data type represents the type of this property so I'm giving the data type of this property as email address and also I'm giving the error message if the users uh, if, if the user tries to give the email address without at the rate or dot symbol so this message will get called on our view page so this is the email address property and this is the username property so I have given only two attributes for this property the required attribute and the display attribute and the last is the password property and also I have given three same properties as like an email address to this password property that is required display and the data type so you can give any data type based upon your requirement you could give the credit card currency and date date time duration email there are a lot of types present in this data annotations so I would like to give the password here so I am saving this model let's hop to the context model here basically context represents your database set as you can see here database set I have two database sets in this context detail context you can see here it is repress it is inheriting from the database context interface so this is the constructor inside this constructor I am giving a parameter as database context options which is inheriting from base and this is same as like this constructor and below this constructors I am giving two database sets one for the contact uh, which is not the part of this section I am showing only about the uh, registration and the login so I am taking another database set for sign up model for this model which we have given inside the models folder you can see here in the uh, solution explorer inside this model folder I have database detail context dot cs and sign up dot cs so these are the two models so let's save this detail context and let's hop to the details controller for the login and for the sign up I have created another controller a new controller called details controller so inside this I have my sign up view page for the get request and for the post request I have another sign up view page so this HTTP gets called if the user given the if the user wants to see or wants to display the view page of sign up page so this action will get called and for the post if the user tries to submit the form using sign up page then this page will be called so I have given HTTP post and validate anti forgery token uh, as you know I have given this attribute validate anti forgery token to prevent our web app or website from cross-site scripting 
and from the potential hackers to prevent from the potential potential hackers I have given this token validate anti forgery token so this is our action result and also inside this I have given the parameter as sign up which is our model and inside this I have given if condition if model state dot is valid if the user submits all the fields of the sign up model then only this conditions will get called then only this code will be executed if this requirement is meet so I have taken a details variable at the top of this class here you can see here private read only I'm calling the detail context here and and I am accessing this detail context here inside this if condition dot sign up this sign up which we have created as a database set so dot add dot model so if the users sign up for the view page or for this website then that detail is going to store in this database set sign up and also after uh, saving or after adding any row or any data inside the database set or a database table don't forget to save that changes so after adding that model what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save all the changes so this method you have to call and you should call so after calling the save changes method give model state dot clear this line will clear the model state which the user has submitted and after clearing the model state I'm gonna store one temporary message inside this view back dot message dynamic property that is the username plus with along with the successfully registered message so this is the i action result of sign up and now i would like to show you the sign up view page here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna access my model sign up you can see here using razor I am accessing that model at the rate model uh, this is the first ASP core application name dot models dot sign up so I am accessing this model and I am creating the form using tag helpers so if you don't know about tag helpers if you are a newbie to ASP.NET Core then don't forget to watch my previous videos on ASP.NET Core and on tag helpers as well and I have given the introduction part on HTML helpers as well so don't forget to watch that videos so using form tag helper I am creating the sign up view page this is the ASP action uh, it indicates that if the user submits the form then this action will get called which is present inside the controller detail and also this gives the return URL and the method of the form should be post and the role of the form obviously it should be the form so this is the form horizontal bootstrap class and inside this I am giving ASP validation summary so this attribute indicates that the validation of this form will get called based on the model which we have created inside this sign up model these are the properties and these are the error messages so let's hop to the view page and let's say if view back dot message not equals to null I am displaying this message uh, we'll come to it later but at the moment I want to show you the form groups this is a bootstrap class and this is our first form group in this sign up form 
so the first property is email email address label ASP for this is also a tag helper label tag helper you can see here wherever you see ASP then you can think that it is a tag helper so input ASP for email address and the class for this input tag is form control and what does it mean this pan tag this pan tag is going to give all the error message for that particular property that email address property ASP validation for it validates and it gives the error message and it displays the error message of that particular property this is the next form group which is for the username and this is the input tag and this is for the ASP validation and the next form group is for the password you can see here label input tag and span tag at last I am giving a button for submitting the for submitting the users data through this form to the controller and to the action method of this con of this view page so so this is the sign up page let's run this application and let's see how it works you can see here I am running this application on my browser Google Chrome and also I'll show you about this view bag message and what it displays I'll show you later and also I want to show you the login view page how we can log in our application is running on localhost 52994 this is the login page so first we'll see the sign up page and how we can sign up how we can register with this web app first we'll see that and later we'll come to the login part how we can log in and what is the logic of login inside the detail controller you can see here this is the login i action result and this is for the what you can see for the get request i commented out this two data annotations HTTP get and allow anonymous and this login method will be called for the HTTP post you can give your controller name and the action method while giving this while giving the names in the URL you should give it correctly otherwise you will get a internal server error I have given controller name along with the sign up page as you can see here we can see the sign up view page email address username and the password so let's give the username as mark at the rate gmail.com and the username is mark123 the password is one two three four let's sign up and we'll see you can see here mark one two three successfully registered this is the view back dot message which we have given in our controller in in our action method you can see here viewback.message model.username plus 
I am concatenating that username along with this successfully message successfully registered message and I am displaying it my I am displaying on my view page here if you back dot message not equals to null then I am displaying this message so this is all about the sign up part and now I would like to show you the login part So this is the login view page and only two fields are required here the email address and the password and we'll see how it works so this is the login page and and I'm given I have given the same form inside the login view page but with different attributes but with different action as well you can see here ASP action login and the controller is same detail and this using this tag helpers I'm creating the login view page form and I have given two properties here the email address and the password at last I am giving a submit button so if the user submits if the user tries to log in into the website then this action will be called this action the HTTP post login inside this I am taking two parameters one for the model sign up model and next for the written URL and this view data temporary dynamic property or dynamic dictionary stores the return URL and I am checking my checking the data of the submitted form that these login details will exist in our database or not that part I am checking using this variable user this is the context variable details dot sign up is the database set which we have given in the detail context here and dot where you means user you could give any variable name here and I'm checking using lambda expression you dot email address equal equals to model dot address if the given email address of this login form matches with the email address of database which is present in the email address which is present in our database so the email address of this given submitted form and the email address which is present in our view form should get matched and also I am giving and here the password should get matched along with the email address I am also checking for the password that's why I have given and between these two so the password should get matched dot first or default this is a method if this condition satisfy if mo not model state dot is valid and user not equals to null then only our application will be redirect to the login logged in action result which is present at the uh, which is present below the login mess login action result else it will give the bad request object result so you can log in with the given email address and password using this login view page so hope you like this video hope you enjoy this video please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to watch my previous videos on introduction to ASP.NET Core MVC and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section below and thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video